where we are. Guess where we are, mother daughter. I don't want the double chin. Sunday, Monday. Tatter tuna. Uh, <laughs> it looks. Christmas when the snow starts to fall then you know it's Christmas for the children above all then you know it's Christmas cause Santa's on his way we're standing our tulip was gorgeous completely and now we're off to Walmart. Just follow you. What about Target? I need a drink. Let's go to Walmart first, then Target is better. Okay. Okay. I need a cold brew. Starbucks. These ones aren't dressed up for Christmas. What a disaster. Look, nothing. Oh, just a big mess. Disgusting. Have you ever in your life? It's not like with the other YouTubers show.
Target with nothing. All the Christmas has been picked over. Isn't this disgusting? It's those Canadian people, you know? <laughs> like us. Well, hi there, it's Susan, and welcome back to my channel, and a special welcome if you're new. And I was naughty again. I think I'm being a, a naughty a lot lately. So, as you could tell by the beginning, I went to the States again with my daughter. We spent the night and we just had a little mommy, dearest mommy daughter um, fun time together. And we did a lot of damage, like mother, like daughter. So, I didn't need anything. So, the last time I told you I was done, I lied. So, all I needed really was some ribbon. I could not find the ribbon that I wanted, but I came home with a lot of cute things. And I think watching YouTube really influences me. Um, I see things that are really nice out there that are expensive, like from designer you know, shops, like, well, Pottery Barn is not really a designer, but it's a nice, nice store. So I try to find dupes that it's almost like a challenge and you know do I really need it no but I want it so I'm not gonna go in any I'm just gonna go all over the place Target was a disaster their shelves were just like something I've never seen before it's almost hard to believe that they're not taking care of it um, what we see on YouTube of all the, you know, the YouTubers when they're showing Target and all the full um, products on the shelves, that's not the one that I go to. Um, there's about three or four Targets in the area where I go and they're a mess. It's really disappointing, but I did find some things that were on like a sale, like a 30% off. So I was lucky about that. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I actually got at Target. I was looking for this. The last time I went, I couldn't find it, and I found it. And my son goes, what did you buy that for? Anyway, it's a little tinsel Christmas tree, and I thought it would look so precious in a crock. I like the vintage look in the hall and in the kitchen. And I had seen uh, a full-size one of these in somebody's um, Pinterest, and I really thought it was cute. And it's, isn't it funny, when I was a kid, we had these, and when I grew up, I didn't like them. And now I like them again. I guess I'm vintage. So this was regularly $10, and it came to $7. It's going to go in a little crock, probably in the hallway. So the next thing that I got at Target were these really cute trees, and I never could find them before in the Target when I went. So there's a little one for $5. Uh, medium one for 10 and the large one is for 15 and it's ceramic with a gold base and you've seen these on a lot of youtubers uh, videos I'm sure but I just thought these were so adorable I want to do like a little vignette with these maybe on the coffee table I'm not sure I haven't even started yet it's always fun to shop right but to actually get all the bins out and the trees out and decorate room by room gives me a lot of anxiety once it's done, I think, what was the big deal? But I think it's because my brain is working overtime, just thinking of all these different things. My house is only so big. I can't do, you know, like how much stuff can I put everywhere? Anyway, so those are really cute. And I'm so happy to have got them. My daughter got some too. Okay, so that's our target. Let's okay. see how I go now. Okay, before I even go into the States again, I found this really cute plate. Um, like a dessert plate, I would call it. a sandwich plate. And it's in Canada. We have a store called Canadian, the Great Canadian Superstore. And I thought these were really vintage looking and really cute. So I got these. They were five fifty each and I got six of them. I really like to decorate my, my table by just using a holiday plate. I use the same basics, the white plate, the chargers, like I do for every season, every holiday, but I like changing these up. And I thought this one was really cute with the whole hole, hole, little Christmas tree, um, 
have a cocoa candy cane stocking. I mean, it, it looks very vintage, right? Okay. So going on back to the States, I was ecstatic. My first stop was at Aldi's and I was looking the for reindeers. The... Uh, I went to four Aldi's. No luck. They're all gone. I already have something very similar. I don't know why I'm looking again. I guess because I see the hype on YouTube with the black deer, so now I want the black deers. Um, well, it was meant to be. But I did find a throw that I've been wanting. My daughter made me one last year in white, and they're quite expensive. And she made it. Um, I think she spent $80 in rolls. I rolls. found one at all these. But, and, you know, the big looped, cozy, uh, crocheted, big looped uh, throws. I mean, it is that would it. If you get your toenails stuck in there or your fingers or the, the dog or the cat get in here, they can make quite a big mess of these blankets. I think I'm going to be using it in my bedroom. No cats or dogs are allowed. So this blanket here, it is by Huntington Home. And like I said, at all these, and it's called a chunky knit throw. They had gray, uh, burgundy, red, and then this oatmeal color. And it was $19.99. I almost fainted. I could have bought 10 they had ten, they had so many of them but I got this one from my bedroom and I'm really happy about it it feels so cozy aren't you girls all sick of the word cozy by now but it's true winter is a cozy season so that was at Aldi's and you know Aldi's I think is the European owner I was told through the grapevine that it's a German owner and that's why they had a lot of German chocolates and candies and cookies and baked goods. And I really liked them. I did buy a couple of uh, bags of uh, their candies or their chocolates and their, their peppermint um, pretzels. I'm really, really excited. I think from all the hauls I've done, I think I was the most excited with this one. Because um, uh, a, another YouTube that I watch, I watch a lot of YouTubers. Her name's Hannah Naylor. And she has a different style, very earthy, organic, very, mo not even modern, but really classic. And she doesn't do any decor, like, you know, bows all over the place. She doesn't do farmhouse. She just has a really designer eye. And I love following her and I get some ideas from her. And um, she was talking about a candle that she saw at Pottery Barn. And I'm not sure if she bought them at Pottery Barn as well, but it was by Stuart Plaid, and it's a candle. I think it was, there's different prices of small, medium, large, but I think this one I found at Home Goods. She said that she had found them at Home Goods, and I got one. So I was really, really excited about this. So it's like a green glass, like an olive green, and it's etched, sort of like, you know, a high and crystal and this one was $14.99 can you believe it and the scent is rather nice and of course I don't care about the scent I just wanted the container and it is called holiday call it no I can't see without my glasses hold on fur needle so I'm sure I'm gonna love it you know I have made, I have sinus issues and I can't smell all the time but I don't care anymore. As long as my company and my family can, I can make a nice smelling house that when people walk in, it's too bad, but I can't, I have some kind of issues. Like I said, once in a while I can smell, I can, I can smell candles and perfume, but I can't, it doesn't last. So like I said, this one was $14.99. Absolutely gorgeous. And it's perfect because I was going to add a touch of green into the living room and that one I bought at Home Goods. Oh, and then the next thing I bought at Home Goods. You know, everybody loves that Pottery Barn gingerbread cookie jar. Me. So I I really wasn't looking for any kind of dupe in the store, but I found one. And it's by Martha Stewart. And you're gonna die when you see it. I know it's not the exact coloring or the same style, but it's good enough for me. And it came to $29.99. Even if you don't want to use it as a cookie jar, it's just a really cute decor piece. Martha, you did good.
how cute would that be for your kids or grandchildren filled with little gingerbread men and ladies or women or girls? Okay, so then I saw a really cute idea on another girl's channel. Um, her name is Allison, A L Y. A-L-L-Y-S-O-N, and she showed the Pottery Barn um, salt and pepper shakers, and she uses them at her coffee bar to use it for, it's like cinnamon and nutmeg. And I thought, I don't want to splurge $56 for Pottery Barn. I thought, I'm going to be on the lookout for the ones in you know, Home Goods or TJ Maxx. And I found something so cute for $12.99. And here they are. So I can put my own cinnamon and nutmeg in these and use them on my cocoa coffee bar. How perfect are these for $12.99? I know they're not the exact same, but they're still really close. Why do those women have to have everything? And you know what? Soon all our houses are going to look the same because we like everything we see online, Target, Amazon, TJ Maxx, Pottery Barn, whatever. It's truly a sickness, girls. But it's a sickness that I like having. Okay, so that was it for home goods. Then I, I thought I'd just jump over to Joanne's because I saw another girl um, show. There's a few girls that show this, and it's a pomegranate, but it's actually from another. Um, I'm not sure where they got it showed a dupe for uh, Joann's and these are the popular pomegranates and they were using them in silver but I thought I would I would use uh, the rub and buff in the antique gold on it and use it I'm not hanging it on the tree I'm going to be using it as um, just like some kind of you know addition to a vignette so I had two of those I'm going to change the ribbon I think probably to like a cream. And that was $4.99 on sale, half price at Joann's. I don't usually go to Joann's. Um, I've had bad luck in Joann's where everything's too expensive or everything's a big mess. Um, but this time it was okay. There was a lot of nice things in there. I like the look of a distressed vintage uh, Jingle Bell. I just think it just looks so old world. And I got these. I could not believe it. I saw them on the wall and I had to grab all of them. I have three of them and they were regularly 13 and I got them for half price. Here I was going to distress my own jingle bells. No need. So I'm going to use these probably in garlands or in my um, dough bowls. I'm going to, of course, open it up. They're even good just to sort of intertwine with your garlands. And one of them, I'm just going to hang it up like a wreath on my um, my racks, what do you call them? Your, um, oh gosh, I can never remember the name. Peg racks. Just a few of these little branches. And these were regularly $3. Look, look how cute that would look. Can you see it? How cute that would look just sitting in, um, again, a dough bowl on an angle in your garlands, if you didn't want that kind of, uh, that kind of garland there and or just even in um a pot you know in between all your greenery and i got a few of these they were half price a dollar fifty i went to the tattered tulip one of my favorite stores and i didn't do too much damage i did more damage last time with all the greenery but i went with my for the sake of my daughter to look at it because it's so beautiful at christmas it's the most beautiful place i think i've ever seen like the christmas store I'm sure there, there's lots out there in the South, you know, and in Canada as well, but I just don't know of any. So the Tattered Tulip is my favorite. And what I picked up there were a couple of little things that aren't that important to show you, but I did find a pillow for my bed and it was perfect. And it just says, ho, 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 because I do the neutrals, a pop of red. So I thought I would put that along my bed, in front of my pillows. You can change it up if you want all red, and it says Merry Christmas, but I like this side. And that was only $28.99, which was a good deal for a boutique price of a lumbar pillow. Yeah, so that was perfect. 
Okay, so there's only two more things. But now I have, I have an idea, and I think they would look so beautiful on hanging on my tree with the lights hitting them, and they're just crystal drops, and they're very long. So you got to make sure when you put them in your tree that you do see them because they are so long. So these were like such a great price. I couldn't believe it. I think, yeah, two ninety five dollars for a glass drop. So, I mean, if you didn't want them for your tree, you could always use them for your martinis. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good idea. That's funny. Stir sticks. Okay, so then the last thing I got at the Tattered Tree Book, which is beautiful, and I showed it in my video, was this ceramic house. I'm, I'm not even sure what vibe it has, but it kind of looks like Pottery Barn or Anthropology, doesn't it? And it was, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't, you know, the most expensive. And it came to $31.95, I think. But it is a unique piece. And it is a big house. And I'm going to use it for my coffee pods on my coffee bar. So you can open it up and put all your coffee pods. I mean, wouldn't this look cute if you bought three of them and put flour, sugar, and you know whatever coffee oatmeal on your if you had the space on your um, kitchen counters and you felt like spending a hundred dollars but it would look cute very chic so i just bought one for my coffee pods just to add a little something different to it i always like to pick up a few pieces mm -hmm. every just it gets me excited to decorate plus it gives me a new look so that is it for this haul so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, got some ideas. So I will be starting to decorate soon. I've got to get my button gear here because it's the 15th tomorrow and I haven't even got the Christmas tree out. Okay. Procrastinating because it's a lot of work. And But once I start, I'm good. So anyway, so I'm glad that you joined me today and I hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you hopefully decorating a Christmas tree in a few days. Thanks for watching. Bye for now, friends.